Do you know what I was eating lunch today at this Mexican place? There's like these crazy conservative Christians there, and they're all like, these radical leftists destroying the country. They, were, they bitched about that. Oh, they all said that uh, Trump was chosen by God. God interceded on Trump's behalf. So it's like, why do they have the election then? Why didn't God just go, Trump is president. A booming voice is heard by all. One of my cousins walked up to me uh, on, at the 4th of July block party my mom throws and just like started this political conversation with me that culminated in, um, he was like, I used to, you know, have uh, friends that were like leftists and stuff, but that's back when it was like a political ideology. Now it's just straight up fucking terrorism and shit. <laughs> oh my god! He's like, I, I fucking tell people now. It's like they tell, they tell me they're a fucking liberal. I just tell them you're a fucking terrorist, bitch. And I just fuck. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Should have been like, I'm a liberal. <laughs> Am I a terrorist? He knows that. <laughs> Does he think you're a terrorist? No, no, no. Family. See, that's the thing. Oh, I get, so family. I, I get away with it because I'm directly related to them. I'm the only liberal. That I they know, tolerate. dude. See, that, that's the thing too. It's like that, that's how those pe- a lot of those people are. It's like if they know somebody. It's like, well, I know you're not a terrorist doing crazy shit, but everyone else in that group definitely is. They'll sit and talk to me Stop about it. Stop with your but, damn terrorism, boy. The funny thing about it was is these guys then wouldn't talk about like all their work trucks and shit. They're like, yeah, I'm glad I have to. Pay- Man, it was a shock when I had to, like, I quit that company and I had to get my own vehicle. And, man, healthcare costs are spiraling up. And, damn, I'm glad my wife works for the school district. And it's like, what? <laughs> what? Liberal, uh, what? Liberals are the worst terrorists. It's like, ever, what are you dude. talking about? No, they I mean, really are. It, is, it fucking boggled my mind. They're talking about healthcare <laughs> Soon costs. Soon we will give them universal health care. <laughs> and then we'll pay for them to go to college. <laughs> what a bunch of mustachio twirling <laughs> villains, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It was fun though. I actually really miss being submerged in that deep kind of rednecky mentality. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah, because there's so a hard part to of find me that... around here. You know, well, around it's different. Here, <laughs> it's different around here. It is. Okay. There's a different, you know, like in the redneck community, there's different kinds of rednecks. You have That's to know. That's true. Yeah. Sub sub genre. I'll be honest with you that I'll Louisiana that. has a very particular type of redneck that only comes here. I would like, agree with that. Yeah. It comes with its own accent that you don't hear in any other fucking state. So you're even more distinct here. And I didn't grow up around this particular type of redneck, although the parallels do please me. But yes, being submerged indeed. in the swampy, racist, prejudiced, <laughs> horribly misinformed waters that I was spawned into <laughs> rejuvenated me a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I was like... Uh. I sucked it up. I sucked it into my skin and uh, brought it back with me here. That's good racism. Oh, yeah. Some good old blithe, just completely fucking dismissive racism. Oh, mm, mm. I missed that. It's, well, it's fun because you, Speaking when, of when around you feel now. outnumbered, you just get a, a certain special feeling, dude. Oh, yeah. Speaking around here, though, severe storms trigger flash flood emergency around New Orleans as much more rainfall looms. Yeah, we're oh. boned, dude. And uh, this is the uh, storm that's formed in the Gulf. This is uh, Hurricane <laughs> Bert or whatever. It's, <laughs> it's me, guys. It's a tropical storm, but they expect it by the time it makes landfall Barry. in Category 1. It's going to be called Barry. 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 Hurricane Barry. It's me, Barry. Uh, I guess Barry Lyndon is a cool Barry, but other than that, I don't think there's ever been a cool Barry. Severe thunderstorms prompted tornado warnings and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is Bourbon Street here uh, this morning. (sighs) Dude, one time uh, me and Taylor were standing out in the French Quarter, dude, and it uh, it wasn't even a hurricane, but it was just a severe thunderstorm rolled through and the entire french quarter basically becomes a fucking swamp dude. welcome to venice there's like yeah it, there's, it's like a stream like we were like about ankle deep and running through water trying to get Flip back through to some Airbnb. of these that's one of nine let's look at some yeah, more of this shit yeah that's uh, a person kayaking through a flooded neighborhood in new orleans probably uptown or something good to yeah. have a kayak see now lucky luckily for us we're not in this area we're we're across the lake Ooh, from New Orleans. So. Canal Street is living up to its name today. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely a canal. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. this is why we don't live in New Orleans. I think. No. I think I'd almost rather live in the New Orleans area if this wasn't part of life there. It I, is. I don't want to deal with but kayaking down my fucking street, bro. <laughs> so the tropical threat brewing for a, a late week and into the weekend has the potential to unleash a deluge of more than two feet of rain to parts of the Gulf states, which uh, Sajda said posed a dangerous situation for the Louisiana coastline. Damn. This weekend looks to carry the most significant flooding threat for southern uh, Louisiana as uh, what is expected to be Hurricane Barry by the time it makes landfall in southwestern Louisiana, Sajda said. He added areas to the east of the uh, landfall point 
are expected to see the heaviest rain this weekend. That would be us, by the way. Um, with 20 plus inches possible in spots. Well, this threat includes New Orleans. Well, it depends on where it uh, ends up because we're actually a little bit north. We're about 30 or 40 miles north of New Orleans. Right. So, uh, I mean, it's definitely going to affect but us. But we're going to see some rain for show. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I think we're I don't think we're going to see no 20 plus inches. I think we're looking at this area like one to two inches for a couple of days, which is a lot of rain still. But you should buy a kayak. Get your hip waders out, boys. Get them hip waders. Get your kayak. And we it's going to be good mud bug hunting after this uh, goes away, though. There are going to be lots of them around. Even the mud bugs are going to drown. Uh, All you got to do is put some bacon season, on some Paul. dental floss, man. Uh, it's not crawfish season, Paul. What do you mean it's not crawfish it's season? Not. Their damn fucking huts are They're everywhere. It's crawfish season, man. It's not, though. It's crawdads everywhere. It runs from, like, December well, to, like, May, late May. Then why is that one May? up your ass right now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't damn, know. damn, bitch. Well, that's a, that's a damn, sexual, Paul. That's a sexual fetish. Po- oh, oh, yeah. Down here, dude. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, down here. Paul, you don't even know what crawfish season is, Paul. I do, too. I've been down well, here in the Bayou for most of my life. Apparently, it's now. goddamn okay. hurricane season. I know that. Paul much. Bouchard, then, huh? Paul Paul Duchamp. <laughs> oh, Duchamp. Yeah. Duchamp. Okay. Is that what's going on? <laughs> Paul Duchamp. Oh, let's see the comments. Uh, as of two thirteen p.m., Bourbon Street is just fine. This guy. Well, yeah, it, clear, it clears out. This quick. guy is letting you know that this article's bullshit. It's all bullshit. They're lying. If he's ever been through a heavy rainstorm in the French Quarter, he knows Thanks, that's, Jim. that it clears up pretty quickly. But Any yeah, what chocolate happens? and all that water, President Trump done it. Okay. What? What? Some <laughs> what? sharp commentary. Excuse I don't really me? understand Any it. Any chocolate and all that. What the fuck? I don't know. Chocolate? Is there racism going on? <laughs> yeah, I was think that, did, so. Did he do a racism? I don't know. I'm just confused. Sorry y'all, if so. Y'all be in... Prayer for Sherry. She's still staying there in New Orleans with Sarah. All right. All right. I'm going to pray for her. Yeah, Sherry, we're praying for you. <laughs> Does this person realize they left a comment on an article? Or I, do they think they I just posted it on their page or something? And it's Sherry that's making the comment. This is like common inception. Sher- you know, y'all pray for Sherry, and it's Sherry saying it. I don't oh, know. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, she's talking about herself in the third person. Okay. Uh, 98% of the pumps are working, but the whole freaking town is underwater in three hours. The whole town? Hashtag pathetic. Well, you decided to build your fucking town in a soup bowl. What do you want? <laughs> uh, it's ridiculous that we spend billions of dollars a year on New Orleans, and this is the best it can do. The city is six feet below sea level, and this is going to happen no matter what. You need three times as many pumps, and even that, uh, then it would just maintain a normal no, storm. That's not, that's not really true. This guy is uh, misinformed yeah, on, like, com- several levels, but whatever. He don't know what he's talking about, you know? Uh, there's definitely flooding problems in New Orleans. It's a fucking twat, eh? And it is below sea level, so there's a lot of problems with that. But, I mean, I don't know. At the same time, it's it's like, what do you do with a city? You just The city's just going to, everyone's going to up and leave suddenly? That's not how it's going to work. President Trump. I don't know, man. I just love that spelling. President? I've never, I've never seen president spelled that way. President. President. Precedent. 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 Can we just ban comments from websites, please? Uh, dude, a I lot of a, them have. I could do a whole <laughs> fucking show on just the comment sections on these websites w- that shouldn't have them. Yes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because there's f- always more interesting oh, shit in those <laughs> I'll tell you what, than the article. The cesspool champion for comments is either Yahoo or it's Reddit, dude. They, they're like neck and neck. I, I always like I'll see the articles. I skip the articles because those are garbage. I just go straight to the comments to hear people arguing. Dude, these news sites though, they've got fucking bad. Oh, ones, these too. ones are definitely. Oh yeah, they're like you, the bad dregs. Of if you go to, are here. if you want to see the best comments ever, and I guarantee this is the case with this one too. Uh, just go to the Drudge Report and go to articles that they've linked to oh, yeah. and find ones that have comment section and find where the Drudge Report people arrived and started leaving comments, which is what happened here for sure. And it's always just they're the dumbest fucking people ever. Right. Like always. They always have just nothing to say or something just so fucking stupid you can't believe it. Or, like, you don't even understand what they're trying to say. Like, interpret for me this fucking comment. Any chocolate in all that water? Space, then question mark. Precedent Trump done it. Space, exclamation point. I, I've actually seen these uh, long racial tirades where they say, like, people like this. Like, so they don't say black people anymore. They just have, like, I mean, this one's pretty out blatantly racist. I don't know. I don't even know what they're talking Maybe about. Maybe he though. was talking about actual chocolate. He's though. definitely I not. I don't think he's don't talking think so? about chocolate in the water. But I don't know what he's even saying. I, I think he's saying like, are black people drowning oh, in like, the water? No. You know what? 
I think he's saying that President Trump is responsible and he took a dump in the water. Like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, that's the chocolate. Oh, literal shit. You think that? No, uh, I, I think he's because, like, President Trump done it. That would seem to blame him for not investing in infrastructure and shit. Hey, did you enjoy that fucking clip, you piece of shit? Well, guess what? We got a Patreon. It's true. YouTube doesn't pay us. In fact, we've been flagged as a hate speech channel. Do you feel like you just saw hate speech? Well, YouTube thinks you did. I sure don't. Yeah, I don't either. We might be hateful bastards, but I don't think we're hateful in that way. And I'm not, we don't speak. And hate. guess what? We want your money. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of need it. We actually, yeah, we do. <laughs> we kinda that's need a better your word. Money. Is need. <laughs> Seriously, we uh, we try to do the most we can for our patrons. You can just ask anyone who's a patron. We have four thousand five hundred or so of them, and they're in our comments all the time. You can just ask them outright, like, is it worth it? And they'll tell you it is. Links down below. Do it. <laughs> <laughs>